Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to design a website for your cosmetic business. This website is perfect for if you're selling makeup products, and you can also follow this tutorial if you sell other types of products like clothing or hair products. In this video, I'll be showing you a beginner-friendly way to design your Shopify website. I'll show you how to create a product and a collection in your store, how to manage your email list, then I'll be showing you how to customize the navigation bar and footer of your website. I'll also be giving you some tips for how to create a more advanced style website. Let's get straight into the video. To get started, you're going to want to open Shopify, then click Online Store, then Themes. Here you'll see some of Shopify's website themes. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Craft theme. Then you're going to click Customize. This is going to be the base for your website. When you click this full screen icon, it's going to show you how the website looks in full. And when you click this phone icon, it's going to show you how the mobile version will appear. First, I'm going to show you how to lay out your website. That way you can think of which sections you'd like your website to include. And then I'll be showing you how to customize each of those sections. Starting from the bottom of the page, I'll just be removing each of these sections. Then I'm going to click add section and here I'll be importing an image with text. As you can see, you have a few different editing options for this section and you'll be able to insert a picture. Right below that section, I'll be importing a collection list. You want to make sure your website has a collection list, this way you can feature each of your product collections. Under number of columns on desktop, this is where you can customize the display of your collections. For an example, you can choose to have more collections display, or you can display less of them. For an example, I'll be displaying 6 collections, and you want to be sure to enable the view all button if your store has more than 6 product collections. That way customers will be able to click view all, and it will take them to your collections page. Next, I'll be showing you a simple way you can create your About Us section. This can be your brand description or your brand introduction. For this, I'm simply going to import a rich text section. This will give you a minimal way to display your About Us text. And again, in a moment, I'll be showing you how to customize each of these sections. When you click Theme Settings, then Logo, this is where you can upload your brand's logo and your favicon image from your computer. I'd highly recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. And right here under Desktop Logo With, this is where you can increase or decrease the size of the logo. Then I'm going to click Colors and open Color Scheme 1. And this is where you can set your background, text, and element colors. I'll be giving this website a neutral color scheme. So I'm going to set the background to this light tan color. Then I'll be doing the text, the solid button labels, the solid button background, and the outline button to a dark brown color. And then you can go ahead and customize these other color schemes. When you go to edit the announcement bar, this is where you can announce any shop updates. And if you have any brand new products or collections, this is where you can run a text announcement on your website. And when you click link, you can go ahead and link this text to lead straight to that new product or collection. For a more minimal appearance, you can also just remove the announcement bar. And this is a nice beginner friendly way you can lay out your website and get a feel for your color scheme. I'll be showing you how to style this website into this. Here's an example of a more advanced style of this website I put together. For a few ideas for your website, you can include a moving slideshow, a featured blog post section, and also a few mid-roll banners to help promote your collections. By the way, if you are interested in this demo website, this is one of my Shopify theme templates and I have it available on my store. I've put together this pre-made Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. This Shopify theme template will save you a ton of time. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. These are editable website templates that you can add your photos and your products to. I also have many other types of Shopify website templates designed for many different businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. All right, and to start styling the website, I'm going to click on the header and under desktop logo position, this is where you can reposition the logo. I'll be setting this to middle left. When you click on the image with text, this is where you can upload your picture for this section. Under desktop image width, this is where you can adjust the size of this main picture. I'll be setting this to small just to reduce the size of the image. When you click theme settings, then typography, this is where you can change the main and the secondary font of the website. And then when you click on each of these text boxes, here's where you can choose to insert your brand text. Then you can title this button label and link it to a page or a product collection within your website. All right, and then next I'll be showing you how to customize the collection list. First off, you're going to want to click on that collection list. And here under heading is where you can edit the heading text. And under heading size is where you can minimize or maximize the size of the heading text. And here under color scheme is where you can set this to another color scheme if you would like. I'll be keeping the website under color scheme 1. Again, be sure to enable the view all button if your store includes more than the displayed collections. When you view this section on mobile, it's going to display each collection at a time. If you would like this section to display less collections on mobile, you can choose to enable the swipe on mobile, that way customers will be able to just swipe through. 
To create a collection in your store, you're going to open Shopify and click Products, then click Collections. This is where you can create a new product collection. You can write the collection title and description, and you can also choose to manually add products to this collection, or you can select Automated. For an example, when you set the condition to automated, and for one of the conditions, if you set this to product title contains, and for an example, I typed in the word palette, that means that any new product that you launch on your store, as long as the word palette is in the title, it will automatically add to this palette's collection. For now, I'll just be setting this to manual, then I'm gonna click save. Next, you're gonna click products, then click add product. Here, this is where you can add the title, description, any pictures and videos, and some additional information for the product. Then to manually add this product to your collection, right here under collections is where you can add it to that brand new collection. Then here when you open your Shopify theme, when you click on a collection, then click select collection. This is where you can choose to feature some of those collections. Here's how the collection list section is going to appear. And here's how the mobile version appears. Right here for the rich text section, this is where we will begin doing the brand description. I'll be editing the heading text and here under heading size is where you can minimize or maximize the size of the text. You can also put the text in bold or italic. Then you can start inserting your about us text. You can manually write out your brand description and you can also use AI writing tools like ChatGPT to help you write out your brand description. Under desktop content position, you can position the text off to the left and you can also reposition the content alignment. I'll be centering the content position. You can change this to whichever color scheme you would like. And you can also choose to reduce the spacing between the sections right here under section padding. When you click on this text box, you can choose to select a certain text and you can make the text sizes larger. And when you select a specific text, when you click this link icon, you can insert a link or select a link. When you click on this button label, this is where you can retitle this button label and you can select a link. I'll be removing the button labels. And once you're finished, this is going to be your simple beginner-friendly website. And also here's the mobile display. When you click on this footer menu, here you can enable the email signup to allow customers to sign up to your email list. To send out emails to the members of your email list, if you're on Shopify, you're going to click Marketing, then click Create Campaign. When you click Shopify Email, then I'm going to click Next. Here are some of Shopify's email templates. They have some design for shop announcements and also for if you want to send out holiday emails. When customers click catalog, this will take them to the shop all section of your website. Then when they click contact, this will take them to your contact form. Next, I'll be showing you how to customize this navigation menu and your footer menu. Here on Shopify, when you click navigation, then open your main menu. This is where you can edit or delete the current menu items. And when you click add menu item, this is where you can add some new menu links. For an example, if you want to feature a specific product collection, you can choose to do that here on your menu. For now, I'll just be keeping the default menu display. Then when you also click navigation, then footer menu, this is where you can edit your footer menu. You can insert a link to your home page, your collections page. I'll be inserting some links to some product collections. And you can also insert some additional links, like links to your policy pages or your blog page. Then when you open your Shopify theme, right here under footer, you're gonna click add block. Then I'm gonna insert a menu block. And you wanna make sure this is linked to your footer menu. I'm gonna insert another block for an image and this is where I'm gonna insert a logo. And last, I'm gonna insert a text block. And here you can put a little mini brand description. All right, and once you're done, here's the finished Shopify website. This is a nice basic website with all your essential sections. And here's also how the mobile display of the website looks. Don't forget, you can play around with Shopify and different elements, different colors, and also different sections to design your website. You can remove sections, add more sections. Shopify also has a feature where you can add a video section and also some featured product collections. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. 
and it has many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.